Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carol singing, famous season. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is officially day one of my 12 days of Christmas series. I'm so excited to share this series with you guys. I'm going to be giving you 12 days in a row of Christmas inspired videos. So everything is going to be all Christmas. So if you are a Christmas lover like me, you definitely don't want to miss any of these videos. Today I'm kicking it off with my stocking stuffers for this year. So I will be sharing all of the things that I'm putting in my kids stockings for this Christmas all while saving money. So everything is budget friendly. Everything is from the dollar store or Target dollar store or Walmart. Nothing was over a dollar. So last year I did do a stocking stuffer video as well and everything was from the Dollar Tree. So if you would be interested in seeing that video, I will link it down below. Go show it some love and it's fun to kind of see what I did last year compared to the things that I got this year. I will say it seems like the Dollar Tree gets better and better every year and i really was excited with some of the things that i found for my kids for this christmas if you are tuning in for the first time make sure you hit that like button and subscribe say hello down in the comments i would love to chit chat with you so we're gonna dive right in i'm gonna start off and show you guys everything that i got for samir and then we'll move on to the other kids all right you guys we are gonna dive right in and i'm gonna share um everything for samir's stocking samir is my one-year-old I really didn't have a clue what to really buy him. One is a fun age, but it's also a very difficult age to buy for. So I decided to just keep it simple. I didn't get him a ton of stuff. Um, as far as candy and stuff like that, I didn't go and buy him as much as I did the other kids because I just don't want him to choke on certain things. Some things he doesn't chew all the way correctly, but I just kept it simple and easy for him. So for um, Samir, the first thing I got in his stocking were um, two books. So these were actually from Dollar General. So I just got this a Mickey Mouse Christmas book. And it's about the size of my hand. So it's a perfect size for him. When I seen these, I knew that I would just get these for him. And then they're the cute little, um, this one, what is it? Mickey's Night Before Christmas. And then this one is Rudolph. Or Santa's Big Night. That's what it says on the back. So I just got in those two little books. And then this is from the Dollar Tree. It's just a little cell phone. And it's funny because ironically, last year I actually got Tink one of these. He was one at the time when I did his stocking. So I seen that they still had these at the Dollar Tree and they do make noise. So, so he'll really, really like that. I just also got him a little truck so this does make noise too this was also from the dollar tree so it has he's gonna really like this i thought it was cute and perfect for his age so i actually grabbed him one truck and then there's another one i grabbed i don't know where it went i think it might have fell out in the christmas stash i have going on but i did get him this one and i think the other one was a fire truck and that makes noise as well so that was like the toy wise like i said i didn't get samir a lot of stuff for his stocking because i just didn't really know what to get him i wanted to get him like a light up ball or something but dollar tree actually didn't have any and again i was trying to keep it a dollar or two not more than that so i it's not really that big of a deal he's not gonna really notice that he doesn't have as much so now we're gonna move on to tank tank is my two-year-old tank's currently obsessed with toy story you guys when i say obsessed this this child is obsessed. He loves Woody specifically. So he's currently been on a Toy Story binge. I'm not even kidding. Every day he watches one, two, and three of Toy Story back to back. So of course I had to go all out on Toy Story for him. And the Dollar Tree, I was very surprised. They had a ton of Toy Story 4 stuff. So I got him a whole bunch of different things like that and then some other things that he enjoys. So I did get him a little Christmas book. This was actually from the Target dollar spot. So it was only a dollar. So this is a toy Christmas. So I did grab him this little book. I seen it, I know he'll love that. And then I got him this little carry along activity pad. This was from the Dollar Tree. So it has some stickers in there for him. And then it has quite a bit of coloring sheets. I can get it to open so quite a bit it's pretty thick and then the it does come with the crayons in the back and then for toy wise 
I seen this at the Dollar Tree. Woody, I had to get it for him. So it's just a little figurine. So it's small. He has another um, current small little figurine of Woody that he carries around. So I saw this and I thought this would be a perfect item to add into a stocking. And then for his other toys that I got, I tried to get them each three toys. That's what I decided to go with was like three toys for them. I got him this little kind of like Nerf gun style. It's like the Dollar Tree version. This is actually a new one. I've never seen this one here. It looks a, bit, a little bit better. Um, so it does come with some of the dart bullets. And then I also grabbed him a pack of some more little dart bullets for him. So that was his toys for his stocking. And then I did get him a toothbrush. Well, I'm going to. Um, the only one that I have in the video is for Ellie. I'm going to get um, Tank, Samir, and Lake and also their own toothbrush as well. That's a tradition my mom always did when we were kids and I've continued it on with my children. I always put a toothbrush in their stocking. So I have Lakin next. Lakin is my five-year-old. So for him, I did get him also one of these little carry-along activity pads. I believe this one was from Dollar General. Yeah, this was Dollar General. So it was only a dollar. So again, this one does come with stickers. And then it has the sheets of different activities for them. Coloring, crosswords, um, like some tracing, matching. And then it comes with the crayons as well. And I grabbed him this little puzzle. This was actually from the Target Dollar Spot, so it was only a dollar. Um, he's been asking for puzzles lately, and he likes to put stuff together. So I got him one of these, and I also got Ellie her own puzzle. I didn't get Tink one, because you guys, honestly, he'll just stick it in his mouth and try to chew it or something. So it's not even worth the hassle. So I did grab Lake and just the Toy Story 4 puzzle. And then for his toys that I got for his stocking, I grabbed him this little drawing board. He loves to draw, you guys. Loves it so much. He literally steals all my pens and markers. So I decided to just get him like this little Etch-a-Sketch drawing board. I thought this would just be something cute and fun for him. This was from the Dollar Tree. And then the last two toys for his stocking that I grabbed him. These were actually new um, at the Dollar Tree. I haven't seen these before. If you um, watched my video from last year for the stocking stuffer, I did get like the Dollar Tree version of Lego. So these are actually really perfect stocking stuffers. If you have a son or a daughter that's into Lego, I would definitely grab them some of these for their stocking stuffers. So instead of spending all that money on the actual brand, the Dollar Trees actually isn't that bad. And these were new ones. So these were zombies. So I got them this pack that just has those three different ones. And these are 34 pieces. So it comes with everything for them to go ahead and put together these little Lego people. And then I got him this one that came with those three people that he can create for the zombies. He'll be really excited when he sees those. So that was the toy wise of his. Moving along to Ellie's stocking. So I got Ellie a little puzzle like I said as well. So I just got her the LOL surprise doll. This was also from the Target dollar spot for only a dollar. I do have her toothbrush now. I got this from the Dollar Tree. Ellie is literally obsessed with Jojo Siwa. So I seen these at the Dollar Tree. They only had Hot Wheels for the boys. Lakin's not into Hot Wheels. Tank, I guess it doesn't really matter. So I decided I would just maybe look at Walmart or somewhere. Hopefully I can find one for a dollar. If not, I'll just go back and get the Hot Wheels one. It won't be a big deal. But I got this one for Ellie. That was literally the last Jojo one that they had. So. There was no doubt I had to get it for her. She is obsessed with JoJo. I also grabbed her an activity pack as well. So she'll have the same thing with the stickers and the crayons and all of that. But then Ellie's a very, very girly girl. She likes toys, but she doesn't. She's more into like lip gloss, wanted to do my hair, necklaces, all of that good stuff. So I got her two um, of these little chapsticks and then a little lip gloss. These were actually from Walmart. They were only a dollar a piece. So I got her the princess one and then just the frozen two. Frozen two is a big thing right now, you know, since that movie just came out. But I grabbed her those for her stocking. And then for her toy, this was just from the Dollar Tree, just a little doll here. So they're not bad. I mean, they're cheap. They're a dollar, what do you expect? But perfect stocking stuffers. And then they, what I think is awesome, and if you want to get them real Barbies, the Dollar Tree actually has the little outfits. So this one is the career doll outfit. 
So it comes with a microphone. It even has the little heels in there. They also have accessory packs too that has like the purses, the shoes, and all of that as well. That's really cool. So they have a couple different outfits that you can choose from and then the other accessories for the Barbie dolls. So these are her toys. So that was all of the toys and like activities for the kids stockings. So now I'm going to show you kind of the treats that I put in there. I this year I didn't do a ton of sugar or sweets. Sometimes I might do a little bit more, but this year I just kept it very simple. They they don't need all that extra sugar. So for the bigger kids, I got them one of the little lifesaver gummies. I've been doing this the past couple of years. I always get one of these and they're stocking. You can find these at Target, Walmart, and the Dollar Tree as well. I think I got this one from Target, so it was only a dollar. It's a dollar at each of those places. Samira won't have that. I won't give that to Samira because, like I said, he'll probably choke on that since it's a little bit bigger and it's thicker. I don't want him to choke on it, so he's not to the go the lifesaver stage yet. But I did grab this pack of ring pops. It comes with four, so I'll give them each one to go in their stocking. And then a stocking is not a stocking without a chocolate Santa. So I got this for the Dollar Tree. They'll each get um, one of the chocolate Santas in their stocking. Then I only got one more piece of candy, you guys. Like I said, I wasn't doing a lot of candy or a lot of sugar. A stocking's not a stocking legit without a candy cane. You gotta have the candy cane in the stocking hanging over. So that was the last piece of sugar that they're getting in their stockings this year. This year I wanted to just go with more um, little small toys and like little books and activities for them. So if you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you some ideas of what to put together for your kids' stockings, make sure you like and comment below and let me know what do you do for your kids' stocking. Is there a certain tradition like me? I always have to put a toothbrush in their stocking every year. Let me know down in the comments what is something that is a must in your stocking for your children each and every year. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you stay tuned for tomorrow for day two of 12 Days of Christmas. I will be coming out with another Christmas inspired video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Jingle bells ring.